Now in this section, what we will do, we will create this real-time feed, but this real-time feed, it already has a lot more to do, and as you can see, it's working perfectly as, as intended, but what about new to-dos? So we want to add new to-dos whenever we click on that. We don't want to subscribe to all new to-dos added. We can do that, but we want to have sort of like Twitter behavior. So what we need to do is to write a subscription, to subscribe to to-dos, and uh, we want to order them by ID in descending manner. And uh, we also want to limit them by one. That's because we want to use subscription just as a notifier that something has changed. Now, in addition to that, I will run a where clause and I will get only is public to do because I'm not interested in private ones. I'm looking at the real-time feed for the for public to do this. And let's just return an ID. So if we run the subscription, have this new to do that arrived. And if I, um, let's actually add the title. So we also see the which to do was added. Now let's write something here. And as you can see, the new to do has been added to the feed because we have cache updates, not because of subscriptions. And you see that our subscription has fired that new to do has arrived. So if I will use different user, uh, I won't see feed updates because it's not a subscription here, but I will see this one will fire. So this is the first thing that we'll create. The second one that we want to run is basically, let's call this subscription actually, uh, notify new to do. Now let's write a query that we'll need whenever our new to do says have arrived. But basically we are dealing with the same concept we had with a load more to do's. So my query will be called uh, load new to do's and I will provide last ID as integer and inside I'll have my to do's. I can order them by ID in descending manner. And I also want to add a where clause and I'll have a where clause that will um, have two things. First of all, it will check if it's public is true, uh, is equal to true. Second one, I want to check if my ID is greater than this time as last ID. As you can see, it's exactly the same concept, but we're using greater than instead of lower than. And I will say I want to see ID title is completed, created that is public, user and name. Let's load our new to do's and we'll see all of them. But let's say I want to get, uh, let, let's say I'm uh, here seeing only this to do at the last one and I want to load these two. So if I provide my last ID as three, two, three, seven, and load new to do's, I will get two of them, two latest to do's.